gorgeous Pisces, this is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 25th of October 2024. Pisces, I had a vision before this reading, which is unusual for TGIFs. I saw someone right in the middle of a river. It was quite swampy looking. <laughs> they were struggling to sort of find their feet. They could feel their feet slipping off slippery rocks under the water, but they couldn't see down because the water was murky. They were right in the middle of this river thinking, I've just got to keep going. I've just got to get to the other side. <laughs> but what was weird, Pisces, and the reason I'm laughing is this person was manically laughing as they did it. It's as if, what have I got myself into? There's a sense of this is exciting, but... <laughs> It's, it's a little bit overwhelming. It's a little bit crazy. You may feel as if you're in the middle of chaos. So whatever this is, Pisces, let's get into this. But you're happy. So I don't know. The deck that I'm using is the Ancient Whispers Tarot. As you know by now, guys, if you'd like a private reading, my website link is down below. Of course, all the decks are listed and the link to join the channel too. So... Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Pisces, Friday the 25th of October, I'm moving into the weekend and into a brand new week. Yeah, you're, you're wanting to get to dry land, Pisces. There's a sense of, I've got to tread water, I've got to sort of try and get to the other side. Is the current going to get stronger, is what I'm hearing? Is it going to be okay? Am I going to be swept away? I'm not sure. i just got to keep focused. Oh my goodness, Pisces. All right, let's have a look, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the four of wands. Okay. Are you engaged? Are you planning a wedding? Are you thinking, oh my goodness, I'm so excited, but uh, oh, there's a lot to do. Are you renovating a property, Four of Wands? You're very excited, Pisces, because this is all about your stability or a new relationship. But <laughs> there may be moments where you feel you're out of your depth somehow. Queen of Cups, this is you, okay? Yeah. It's very interesting though. Look at this Queen of Cups. It's as if she's sitting on this bowl that seems to be spinning. She's wearing this beautiful skirt that seems to be windblown. She's holding her hands up as if to say, okay, what next? What next? I've done that. Okay, what's next? Um... You're extremely busy, guys, but excited. Yeah, ex <laughs> four of wands, queen of cups. I'm incredibly excited. This is to do with a new relationship. This is to do with my stability, but ten of wands. Oh, I've got a lot to do. Okay. Wow, guys. Justice, you're thinking about a legal contract. You may be feeling okay once I sign on the dotted line, that's it. You may be connecting with a Libra. Pisces, you are bringing much needed stability and balance to your life, but it's as if I don't have a spare second. Yeah, your ship's coming in. Pisces, three of wands, your ship's coming in. You're embracing change. You're looking out towards the future. You're very excited, but blimey, ten of wands. <laughs> it may be taking it out of you a little bit. You may be falling into bed exhausted every night, but whatever you're entering into is wonderful. It is what I'm getting. Nine of wands. Yeah, I mean, you are tired. I mean, nine of wands, ten of wands, but four of wands, justice, three of wands. It's... As if you know you're heading in the right direction, but you may feel as if 
If somebody gives you one more thing to do, you may feel as if you just want to throw your hands in the air and say, okay, this was going to be exciting, but I just can't deal with any more. I, I can't deal with any more. So Pisces, try to get the rest you need. If there are things you can put on the back burner, please do so. Don't burn out. This is going to lead you into a place of happiness, stability, balance. But you may be incredibly busy to the point where you don't know if you can cope with it all. Knight of Swords. You may be receiving information from people or people are communicating with you. There is a tendency, guys, to be very short with people at this point of time, only because you may not have time to turn around, literally. I mean, if you've got someone who messages you and says, hey, Pisces, haven't seen you for a while. How's it going? Be nice to catch up. Tell me your news. Your reaction may well be to fire off a message saying, great to hear from you. Can't talk now. Speak to you later. And you may then reread that message thinking, wow, that was a bit blunt. That was a bit sharp. I shouldn't have said it like that because you're going to be fighting fire. Again, Pisces is incredibly exciting, but it's almost as if you're trying to push everything and everyone away that you don't have to deal with. If there's anything that isn't urgent, you're pushing it back and people may not like it. Because Pisces, you're known to be calm and compassionate and loving and sympathetic and yeah, let's have a chat. But no, not at this point of time. You're going to be flying by the seat of your pants, okay? Eight of Swords, yeah. Because you're in your head. This is a massive upheaval for you. Upheaval, Archangel Michael, is telling me that's not correct. Not upheaval, this is a life change for you. This is a brand new cycle for you. Yes, it is going to cause upheaval in your life, but in a good way, in a positive way. <laughs> That's why I saw this person wading through this swamp manically laughing, right? It's as if half of you was loving it, half of you was terrified, because what if it all comes crashing down? Guys, <laughs> eight of wands. Emails flying left, right and centre. You're trying to find your feet. You're in your head. Have I done this? Have I done that? Have I coped with that? Have I signed that? Uh, yeah. But it's all good. It's all good. Page of wands. Good news. <laughs> Pisces, I don't know. I'm hearing quotes. Are you getting quotes for something? Guys, if you're getting married, I mean, you may be getting quotes for wedding venues, you may be getting quotes for caterers. Um, if this is you, I don't know, with a four of wands, you could be moving house, you're getting quotes for renovations, or you're making sure that you've signed all the relevant paperwork. You could be right in the middle of a sales process here. And this is you may be trying to detach from one situation, your old life, and move into your new life, but you're kind of on the middle of the bridge dealing with that, dealing with this. It's all a bit much as well as coping with family, coping with work. Yeah, it's going to be full on. But good news, page of wands. Queen of Swords. So you may be speaking to somebody here that's going to give you some really good news. This could represent a lawyer a female lawyer, Queen of Swords. This is someone who is feeding you information and there's really good news. So Pisces, this could be somebody saying, you know what, we're going to give you an amazing quote for this and you're super excited. Yes, you're going to go for it. It may be Pisces, this is you speaking to somebody about finalising a legal situation, purchasing a house, something like that. You could be you could be renting a property, signing a rental agreement, getting out of your previous home, that sort of thing. There's a lot going on, guys. Ace of Wands, but you're super excited. Look at that. Passionate new start. 
that is somehow confirmed by this Queen of Swords. Good news. This is it's done. This is successful completion. This is handing back the keys to your rental agent. This is you setting a date for a church wedding. Whatever this is, it's very exciting, guys. Two of Wands. Yeah, you're sort of, you're between A and B at this point of time, right? 25th of October, approximately. You're still in between worlds, but you've got the go ahead that wherever you're going is sort of locked down and secured. Or this is you knowing that everything is sorted out, the paperwork is done, the date is set, right? But you're not there yet. <laughs> Four of Swords, Pisces, you're going to be falling into bed exhausted, but look at this beautiful light. You're connected to the divine. The divine is healing you, recharging you with light and energy to get up the next morning and keep going. Right? Yes. Underneath the deck, guys, we have the death card, Scorpio. This is major change and transformation, the ending of one phase of your life. The magician, you're in full manifestation mode, Pisces. The chariot, moving forward with speed to victory. Beautiful, Cancerian energy. Six of Wands, victory and success. Wow, Leo energy. Page of Pentacles, you could be talking to somebody about a document, a contract. There could be a child involved. This may be you signing on the dotted line. And with the Three of Cups, this is celebration. The final card, Pisces, which you're going to like to see, is the Six of Swords. Moving to calmer waters, right? Beautiful, guys. So, Pisces, what an incredible reading. Um, let's get some messages from the angels. Let's see what the angels want to say. Here we go. So, Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Pisces? Thank you. Helpful people. What I'm feeling, Pisces, is you don't have to do it all by yourself. You may be of the mindset of, well, I don't really want to pass this to somebody else just in case it's not done correctly, just in case it's not right. You may have to release the reins and give a few things to other people. OK, don't be afraid of doing that because this is a lot for you to cope with. Yes, you are going to be moving into a place of recovery. Once this is done, once you're there, once you've got married, once you've moved house, whatever this is for you, there is going to be a time where you will be able to have a few days just to recuperate. Once you've gone from A to B, once you've shifted into this new phase of life, you can sort of relax. Yes, you can relax, guys. And you will need to. You will need to. Yeah, big happy changes. Oh, Pisces, this is going to be wonderful for you. Again, I'm hearing incredibly exciting. Incredibly exciting. <laughs> no need to worry. Pisces, if you're in the middle of this right now and you're stressed and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I hope I can deal with this. Um, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I hope I'm not going to burn out. I hope I can manage. You will be able to. It might even be that the divine here is giving you the extra energy you need to get through this, right? Okay. Be assertive. Pisces, don't worry, but be assertive. If you've got people saying to you, oh, well, I'm not quite sure about that, or, well, mm, I, I don't know if I really want to do that, or, or I don't know if um, this is possible, or, or I'm not sure whether or not we can do this on time. Yeah, no, Pisces, be assertive. Be assertive, okay? Your reaction to that is, well, I'm sorry, but uh, you said you could do this, so um, I'm expecting it done. That's it. 
that's it. You may be having to chase people. You may be having to make a few phone calls. If you're dealing with anyone who seems to be dragging their feet, um, they have a choice to either do this or not. And if they don't want to do this, sort of push them out of the way. OK, well, who does want to do this, right? Be assertive. Be assertive. You're nobody's fool. Make sure that people understand, Pisces, that you are intelligent. You know exactly what you're doing. You're in control, right? But also be patient with the energy of weight. So some things may take time. Just make sure that you're one or two steps ahead of the game. You may want to anticipate a few things might happen. And if they do, you want to have created some kind of alternative plan. Right? Yes. Yeah. Pisces, you're going to feel exhausted, but the situation will improve. It's just the process that you have to go through to get to this, I'm hearing, wonderful new life. Okay. Yeah. Yes. What else are the angels saying? Compromise. So, my beautiful Pisces. There may be a couple of situations within this process where you may have no choice but to compromise. It could be this is you getting quotes and you will have to compromise, right? It may be that you're tempted to stand your ground and say, nope, I want it at this price on this date. Um, you may have to be a little bit flexible, but if you can... It's going to be, I'm hearing from Archangel Michael, a smoother process. So be assertive. Try to stay a couple of steps ahead if you can. There's no need to worry. You will be moving into this beautiful new cycle. But just be aware that you may need to be flexible. So think about that, okay? All right, guys. I've just seen 1919 on the clock. You are closing out a cycle and moving forward into something brand new. Now, this could be to do with love. It could be to do with a life change. You could even be retiring, moving to a completely different area, something like that. Let's dip into the Lenormand deck. Let's do that. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what do we have from the Lenormand deck for my lovely Pisces? Thank you. Yeah. Pisces, you are shifting forward into a brand new cycle with a four and a two. This is about making choices about your stability. This is also a six. OK, that breaks down to a six, which is balance. You're shifting direction. That's a compass. You're shifting direction, Pisces. For some of you, long awaited. And we have a three and a one. Again, change and moving into a new cycle. This is also a four, which is stability. And we have the sun, Pisces. You're shifting direction and you're going to be incredibly happy. <laughs> you're going to be incredibly happy, Pisces. Yes. Wow. Now, we have another four. Now, Pisces, this is about being flexible. This is about duality, right? If you look closely here, we've got what looks like green grass here and somebody smiling. This is a very positive energy. And then we've got someone looking miserable and we've got what looks like a scythe. So Pisces, you may need to manage your emotions at this point of time. Be kind to people, be compassionate. Don't be too abrupt. Watch how you word things. Don't lose it with people because I feel these helpful people around you are all sort of working with you to try to get you to this next phase of life. They're not working against you. They're trying to help you to move forward. So do remember that. Okay, don't be sharp with people. If you're under stress, it will be very easy to be blunt. Just watch your emotion. 
okay? You may be swinging from absolute happiness and bliss, feeling as if this is really moving ahead, to maybe hearing from someone that they can't do something or the date has to change, and this is you switching to feeling really angry. Try to moderate your emotion, okay? Yes, you're going to be fine. Four-leaf clover. <laughs> There's going to be some good news, Pisces. It's also the wheel turning in your favour. Fortunate turn of events, maybe. Beautiful. Mm. There may be a fortunate turn of events relating to your finances. It may be that this is not going to cost you as much as you thought. Whatever this is that you're planning on doing, whatever you're preparing for here. Fish in... The ancient times were a form of payment. Now, this is also your beautiful Pisces energy. This is divinely guided. Four and a three is seven, spiritual number. The angels are with you at this time. The angels are with you at this time. Yeah. The sun's going to come out, Pisces. Again, this is balance. You're going to come out of that swamp, right? The dark clouds are going to part and the sun's going to come out. You're going to get exciting communication. We've got birds at the top right there, which is going to make you feel as if you're very nearly there, right? I've nearly accomplished this. I've nearly got there. <laughs> Nine and two, again. That's 11. This is you just on the precipice of massive change. Write about your thoughts and feelings in a journal. Take photographs of the process. It may be later on you do a little slideshow or if this is you preparing for a wedding, then this is you making sure that you've got everything recorded, even the things that may go wrong, because later on, Pisces, you're going to look back and laugh. Oh my gosh, I found myself in this difficult situation but you know what? It was all part of the journey, right? Yes. <laughs> Guys, beautiful. And we have a number four again. You may be looking back at your childhood thinking, I can't believe I've got here. Or you may be, Pisces, fulfilling a childhood dream. Yes. Guys. So. From here, let's zoom into the second reading. Let's have a look and see what the next few months are going to bring. I'll see you there. Here we go, beautiful people. This is the Light Seas Tarot. Let's have a look and see. We're looking at energies over the next six months, okay? So Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Pisces, please? Over the next six months, an overview for Pisces, please. Overview for Pisces. What's going to be happening? So Pisces, people are going to see that you're very busy. People are going to see that you're a little bit stressed. But there are going to be a lot of helpful people around you sort of steering you through this. I'm hearing again, steering you through the swamp onto the other side. Okay. Here we go. Ten of Wands. Oh, Pisces, this is you thinking I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you could be getting rid of a load of baggage emotionally, psychologically. You could be getting rid of furniture. You could be getting rid of possessions. You could be wanting to lighten the load. Hi, Priestess. You may not be telling people, Pisces, that you're a little bit burdened. <laughs> you may be there with a fixed smile on your face thinking, yeah, this is really good for me. This is great. I I'm really happy. What you're not saying is I'm exhausted. <laughs> but again, Pisces, I'm laughing because this is all really good. This is all really good, guys. The Hierophant. Follow the processes. All right. You may also be steering clear of communicating with a Taurian for some reason. It may be this is someone who, in the nicer sense, wants to help but just gets under your feet. The chariot. Again, Pisces, very excited. You're moving forward. 
Cancerian energy. Wow, guys. Ace of Wands into a passionate new start, Pisces. Three of Wands, your ship's coming in. This is you actually doing this. Eight of Swords, you're in your head. Have I done the right thing? This is a massive change for me. I hope it's all going to work out. It will. It will. Nine of Wands, keep going, Pisces, is what I'm hearing. Keep going. The world. And we have completion. Yay, Pisces, completion. <laughs> This is you collapsing in a heap on a beach with your other half on your honeymoon. Wow, that was exhausting. But you know what? I am so happy. <laughs> this is you actually moving into your new place. The furniture may have arrived late. It may well be that it's pouring with rain. Perhaps you couldn't get in because the keys are a bit rusty and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I've got a van outside. It's pouring with rain. I can't even get into my new house. Stuff like that may happen, but this is you looking at closing out a challenging cycle. You've done it at this point. Mm. King of Wands. For some of you Pisces, there may be an Aries Leo Sag who is by your side. Leo in particular, we have the lion there. Or this is someone who may be helping you, right? The hangman. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You may be thinking to yourself, this actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I knew it was going to be a bit taxing. I knew that at some point I was going to feel a bit stressed. But it's good. It's all good. Eight of Wands. Fast communication. Okay, someone may want to come and see you. Page of Wands, good news. <laughs> Six of Wands. A Pisces, this is incredible. Victory and success. This is you, very, very proud of yourself in this beautiful new situation. You're not looking back at the past. You're celebrating. You could be sharing a bottle of champagne with someone. King of Wands, maybe. Yes. Underneath the deck, we have the Fool, could be an Aries coming to see you, or with the energy of the Fool Pisces, this is you on a brand new journey, very exciting. The Death card, Scorpio, major change and transformation. Six of Cups, you could be feeling emotional, looking at the past. Four of Pentacles, you're going to be hanging on to your money, Pisces. I feel financially things are going to be pretty good for you. Everything's going to go smoothly. But you may check your bank account thinking, oh, OK, my savings are gone. But it's because you've used that money to move into this beautiful new cycle. Maybe you're setting up home with someone you've just got married to. Maybe this is you again moving to your new location, moving into a new home. Yeah, so hang on to your money. Money's going to be a little bit tight, but nothing you can't handle. Three of Pentacles. You're going to be working in partnership with other people. Again, it could be people organising or helping you organise this event. It may well be this is you getting quotes. It could be for moving, for redecorating, for refurnishing, something like that. The Empress. Now, Pisces, this is either you... You may now be somebody's wife <laughs> or with the energy of the Empress, you may involve your mother in this process, who I'm hearing is going to be highly appreciative of that. There may have been some issues with your mother previously, Pisces. I don't know whether she wanted to get more involved and you were a little bit nervous about that. But this is a lovely supportive energy around you or this is simply you. Ace of Cups. This is a brand new start. Now, the Ace of Cups is also, guys, you taking care of your health. This is self-love. So if after all this, yes, you're sitting in this glorious place, you're really proud of yourself, you've done well, 
people are congratulating you, but if you're sitting there feeling completely played out, it's very important you try to take some time for yourself, okay? Even if you say to people, you know what, I love you all to death, but I don't want to talk to anyone for four days. I just want to sleep. I want to crash. I don't want to answer emails. I don't want to pick up my phone. Be honest with people because you may just need some time to yourself, you know. But wow, guys, congrats. Six of Wands, you've done it. So here we go. This is the Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn. Archangel Michael, what have we got for my lovely Pisces? <laughs> oh, you're going to feel emotional. Pisces, you are manifesting a dream. Yes. <laughs> Again, two and an eight, another ten Pisces, Pegasus, transcending... I'm almost getting you looking back thinking, wow, that was a bit tough. I'm so glad I'm out of that cycle. I'm so glad I've moved forward. Yeah. Beautiful, guys. Renewal. Yeah, look at you. You're going to feel a completely different person if you've been exhausted, right? Wandering around, feeling as if you can't do anything else. I just have to sit down. I can't do one more thing. It's going to be a time of renewal and you must use this time, Pisces, before you get fully ensconced in this new cycle to just take some time for you. You need it. You need it, guys. But all good. Mm. Purification. When you've done this, people, you may decide to follow a detox. You may decide you need to drink more water. Again, I feel the guidance is take care of your health. You need to make some changes with a three to your health, to your routine. They may be suggesting get out there and do some exercise. If you've been in a lot, if you've been managing emails and paperwork and you know, you haven't been sleeping well, they're definitely saying you need to take care of your health. Okay. Yeah. Because this might have been taxing, but um, it's wonderful. You're going to make it and you're going to have a lot to celebrate. So guys, let's, as always, get our final message from Archangel Michael. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Pisces, please? What's your message for Pisces? <laughs> Stay positive, guys, okay? Positive thoughts create positive results. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. Stay positive, Pisces. You're going to be absolutely fine and you are shortly going to be sitting in a place of bliss. Okay. All right, my lovely Pisces, I'm living it there. Take care of you as always, sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Bye, Pisces.